When you think of drugs, you probably think of cocaine or heroin, but there's something we, always we all consume on a daily basis that has similar effects. It affects, or babies consume it, and so might you, sugar. While it may seem like a harmless craving, sugar actually has dangerous downsides that you should be aware of. It can, um, sugar has dangerous downsides which you should be aware of. And um, personally, I love sugar with a capital L. At times in my life, sugar has become like part of my diet. Every meal for me demanded an additional and equally sized dessert. But then again, at these times, I was irritable and easily distracted. And so, I hope that by learning more about my experience, you will not fall into the same trap I did. Sugar is a drug which is both addicting and dangerous to our brains and bodies. So today, I'd like to first talk about the sugar around us and how our entire culture is, is pretty much based on sugar, how sugar is exactly like a drug and has many of the characteristics of drugs, and strategies to eliminate or prevent an addiction. Refined sugar is composed of the compound substance called sucrose. And when you think of sugar, you probably think of, well, candies, right? Lollipops. But, um, and this might be true, this actually is true. Um, nerds, for example, are composed of 92% sugar. This is kind of a lot. So to put this into perspective, let's say you had 10 of these tiny little nerds, right? That's one gram of sugar you're having. And that's, I guess, not a lot, right? If you think about it, but the, I mean, it, it all adds up. So for example, this one package right here, that's around this size, right? A five ounce package. That's 14 grams of sugar right there. It definitely adds up. And according to the Amazon 2013 um, polls, uh, sourced by, of course, Amazon, the e-commerce website, Fruit flavored candies actually have more sugar than chocolatey flavored ones, contrary to popular opinion. But these candies aren't the only products that have sugar. No, fast food companies load their products with sugar. For example, the Big Mac. Now this thing alone has nine grams of sugar. Okay, that might not seem a lot considering again that it's around this size, right? But let's say that you add, you're really hungry that day, hypothetically. So you added a spicy McChicken and a medium sized Coke. Now, do you know how much sugar you're consuming now? Not 40, not even 50, 72 grams of sugar in just this thing right here. And crazy, right? This just goes to show how the American culture is just so obsessed with sugar. So, now that I've talked a bit about how, um, about sugar around us, I wanna get into um, how sugar is exactly like a drug. Sugar is a super stimuli, which loads our brain with dopamine, more than we were ever supposed to experience. According to Rachel Rettner, um, senior editor at, uh, in, uh, from, for Live Science Magazine in 2013, a 2011 study on rats showed that Oreos actually light up the same areas of pleasure in the brain as cocaine does. Also, according to Dr. Nicole Avina, in uh, 2003 from the Department of Psychology at Princeton University, when you eat sugar, you're pretty much telling your brain that it's okay to eat more. So pretty much it lights up neurological pathways and connects uh, pathways in your brain that says that pretty much creates a greater craving for sugar. So the more sugar you eat, the more you want it. So now that I've talked a bit about what sugar is, and how, it, uh, how it's like a drug and how it's ever around us, I'm gonna give you some strategies for how to avoid an addiction or prevent one from happening. So the one most people, what most people do is they moderate their own usage. But some people, they don't think that they can, maybe they don't trust themselves. So there's always a way around this. You as teenagers have a really good option, which is your parents. So your parents can just either lock away sugar or you know, keep it hidden from uh, hidden in the house to prevent you from even getting tempted to go for it. Honestly, it really improves uh, your lifestyle. Uh, so, in conclusion, I'd like to just go over what I talked about today. Um, I hope you now understand how sugar is exactly like a drug, and how it's uh, how it's pretty much all around us, and how 
you can easily get addicted to it. First, I talked about how we're surrounded by sugar. Our American culture is just complete with sugar. Second, I talked about how sugar is exactly like a drug and has many of the properties of cocaine. And, thir and thirdly, and lastly, I talked about strategies to avoid an addiction. Now, sugar may be all around us, but there's always hope. You can always avoid and prevent an addiction. It's really the, probably the best thing that you can do to just limit your sugar usage. It's the best thing I've done, I know that for sure. So you know what, if you live to 100 years old because of this presentation, which I hope you do, that sure would be sweet. Thank you. Aww.